Nick Rosborough has been tearing things up as of late, but he's finding a kid who was tearing things up for a little while, went away. Who are these guys? What's hey, going on? Yeah, Mike, Ituyaki is a guy that I... What, what, what? Ituyaki? He's got a few fans over there. Hey, the guy the guy models his life and his career after Rich Franklin. Rich Franklin is a teacher, was a teacher. Ituyaki is a teacher. Teaches at Kearns High and coaches football. He goes, look, man, that's my idol. That's the guy I want to grow up to be just like. On the other hand, Nick Rossborough goes, look, I train with the pros and the vets and the best guys. And E, you're just another uh, bump in the road for me, my man. All right, let's quit BSing about it. Middleweight knows bar. Check it out. Well, we haven't seen E. Tuiaki in quite some time, Johnny Ritchie, and I remember when he first made a splash on the scene, he was a big splash, tough, tough kid, right? I played football in college, but, you know, Nick rossborough has been making a splash of his own the last few months. Yeah, Mike, uh, telling us he's going to fight week in and week out, Mike, until he gets the opportunity to fight for a championship belt once again. He so. is six foot four, folks. That's a big guy in the, heavy, in the middleweight division, goes by the nickname of Big Nick. I got a big deal over Mafu, which was very... I needed it. I wanted it. And now that, you know, it was a kickboxing match, but still it was a victory. And that was the last time I stepped in the ring. So I'm actually a porn star now. Just, you know, switch jobs and that, that's my bread right there. So it, it's enjoyable. Yeah. I want the victory. That, that's what I do. I come in here and win. I, I don't like to lose. I'm a sore loser, you know. If I lose, it's, it gives me a bad day. So I, I'm definitely going to win. I was kind of sad to find out from Nick that gay porn doesn't pay as much as uh, the other type. And his name, it's Slayer. Leatherface. Leatherface. Oh, which I think has something to do I'm going to be his, hamburger face when career. he gets a hold of me, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. E. Tuiaki goes by the nickname of Ogre Six. Now, he's given up quite of a height advantage here at only 5'10". I went back to school, graduated, got my degree. I'm teaching at Kearns High School now. I'm a teacher and a football coach. Uh, since I got back into it, I've been working on everything, so... Um, hopefully my stand-up's gotten a little bit better because that's where I want to be is on my feet and uh, if we go to the ground hopefully I'll be able to be all right down there too so Rich Franklin he drives me because <laughs> he taught e uh, history in high school he's a champ now so. uh, just like the last fight that I had I'm prettier than him so uh, hopefully uh, that'll carry me through the fight well, he's not bigger than him, Johnny. No, prettier. Oh, prettier yeah, than him. Back better looking. Well, you know, I, I don't know if he knows Rich Franklin's not the champ anymore either. Yeah, he's not. Well, but he was. But he's not. But he's not. <laughs> so he's living on days gone by, and hopefully that's enough for him tonight. Uh, feeling pretty light on his feet there, Johnny Ritchie. Now, he's a stand-up fighter. This small cage is a distinct disadvantage to the stand-up fighters. As you can see, there's really nowhere for them to go. But look at that. E. Tuiaki did a great job of defending the takedown. Yeah, Mike, he did. And right there, you see Nick Rossborough was trying to get him into his guard. He just grabbed his foot and yanked him to the side. Uh, he's just an all-around athlete, Mike. You know, played college football. Um, said, hey, my sprawl and brawl has really gotten a lot better. I, the last place I really want to end up with Nick is on the ground. Well, you know, it's funny that you say that, too, because Nick uh, Rosbro just came off a great, impressive fight in a kickboxing match against Mafu. You would think with his reach advantage and with how far his stand-up game has come, you think he'd want to be standing up with Ituyaki? Well, maybe with never having fought Ituyaki before, Mike, he was expecting that he could knock him out with one punch because every time he's fought Mike, that's exactly what's happened. He's knocked the guy out. You know, he's knocked the guy uh, unconscious, and maybe Nick thought, well, it may be safe if I can get this kid to the ground. Well, I think you remember guys that have come in as boxers in the past. They had no ground whatsoever. But you can see here that E at least understands position. He's fighting well out of the guard. He recognizes when the leg's coming up the body, and he's, you know, he might be getting in a little bit of trouble. Doing a good job at that. He also stuffed the takedown really nicely, which a lot of boxers can't do. So maybe his thinking was that uh, the only way I lose this fight is that one-punch knockout. Well, here you go there, Nick Rossborough crawling up the body, but uh, E. Tuiaki doing a good job of standing up and, and getting out of there getting out of that bad position and now he's in a great position Maybe. behind the hips and throwing punches wow he winds that thing up there too land if he lands that thing that's really going to do some damage but no i'm really impressed with what he's doing on the ground here i know he doesn't have a whole lot of ground experience but doing a really good job against the guy that we know how what he's doing on the ground well he's doing a good job of hipping into him mike not giving him his legs uh, making sure that he sprawls really hard just like that mike getting his hip to the mat and making it uncomfortable for nick to uh, go for that takedown oh I, now wow. looking for a full mount almost got it there but you know again i think that he is just a really athletic kid he yeah. understands athletic positioning and, and i don't know that any of this positioning is coming from a lot of 
knowledge on the ground. He's just a good athlete. Yeah, he is. Well, right there, once again, Nick Rossborough getting to his feet, looking for the takedown. Uh, Ituyaki stuffing it. And then not only stuffing it, but making Nick pay for taking the shot. You know, Absolutely. throwing punches from underneath. And that'll make you think twice about doing that. You might not want to uh, shoot it on this kid again. He's going to hammer away your head and your body. No, you're absolutely right. And you can see, too, it seems that he has a little bit of a strength advantage. You know, I mean, he, he doesn't look like the most powerful guy in the world, but he, but he's they say he's really, really strong. He played, I believe, linebacker and foot and, and a fullback in college. Yeah. And those guys have to be strong. They're in the trenches all the time. Oh, yeah, and, and explosive, too. Right. You know, uh, that's why you'll see maybe he'll, he'll take a few minutes of break, bang, and then he'll explode and he'll throw a couple solid punches. Um, that's right. He's just an athlete. No, well, get, no getting around it. Very impressive first round here by Ituyaki. He's going to uh, end the round with a bit of a lull in the action. But, boy, good action up to this point, and Ituyaki shows that he's not just a stand-up fighter, Johnny. No, no, absolutely. I, I'm going to get my hats off uh, to Ituyaki. In fact, I think I'm going to give him the points in that round, Mike, if I was a judge. I'm thinking Ituyaki wins his first round. Oh, I don't think there's any question to it. He dominated the action, you know, but I guarantee you, I guarantee you we're going to see more action like that when we come. Leatherface Rossboro, Johnny Ritchie. Both of us agreed that uh, E. Tuliaki winning the first round yeah. there, although you thought it was a little closer than I did. Uh, but we're going to start out here, and I think, uh, obviously, Jeremy Horn's going to make some uh, diff some changes over there in the corner with Yeah, Yeah, maybe, maybe he'll stand up now. Maybe, maybe I think he might have told Nick, hey, don't try shooting in. Stand up, use your reach. Well, no, but right there, Nick, Nick shoots in. And let's see if he can sprawl out of this. Well, he did set up the shot that yeah, time. He, yeah. did, he you know, made it seem like he was going to try to do some stand-up and then made the shot. So maybe that was the strategy there. But, boy, again, the athleticism of Ituyaki made things very difficult. He got a deep shot in. You thought he had hips and everything, but just didn't quite get the takedown. No, he didn't. He's still working for it, Mike. Um, he's got Ituyaki's back against the cage. Um, he's going to continue to maybe uh, slide down the body, get, under, get behind the knees, and then really... Uh, force E to, to the mat. Well, you see Bafu Fosta work in the corner of Ituyaki there offering some words of advice. Well, actually he's not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. That's Mafu. The quiet one here. How would you like him for your corner? Yeah. <laughs> but I like... <laughs> he's whispering things to him. He's whispering there. things to him. He might... <laughs> He's very calm in the very, corner. Very calm. He? <laughs> uh, he, he's got a little over and under right there, Mike, of working out. He's really well, got to get his hips out to the side. Nick Rosborough finally did get the takedown he was looking for. Now, let's see if he can do anything with it. Uh, this is where Ituyaki really doesn't have a whole lot of experience. No. He did a good job of stuffing takedowns, but I don't know that he's practiced off his back a whole lot. Yeah. I don't think he has, Mike. Uh, you can see right there, uh, Nick being real, real patient about it, but looking uh, to better his position. He didn't seem really explode into anything. He's just really methodical and slow and making the transition to get into a better spot. Oh, that's a very good, good point, Johnny. I think he, you know, oftentimes, especially when you've got a guy who's not comfortable down there, you get excited and you want to hurry and finish this fight fast. Nick's showing a lot of ring maturity here and taking his time, working for position. Look at he's trying to get either knee up or full mount or something, but just taking his time and getting there. Yeah. Yeah, he knows that uh, that he's got. Oh, wow. way too young. Wow. He uses the cage to flip well, over. You know, you that is an athletic move right there. Yeah. I don't know. I think we can't emphasize that enough. And that Ituyaki just climbed up the cage with his toes and flipped right out of that. <laughs> Amazing. He, Nick Rossborough's not expecting. I think he's a little bit shocked. At me, you know? like, what just happened? It was in such a good spot. I mean, things were going so well. And he, he's going to throw some punches right here to soften up the body. And I tell you. Listen to those punches from here, Mike. Those things are loud, and they're, they're landing. They're powerful. They're hitting hard. Those are some solid body shots. You can see uh, the remnants of those, the, the redness on the side of Nick Rossborough. And, uh, boy, he, wisely so, he turns and tries to pull E back into his guard. And he, he's, uh, he's trying to get E back in his guard, but he's, making him, he's punishing him. He's making him work. He says, hey, let's get this thing back up on the feet. <laughs> he's like, stand up, man. He's like, punch in your mouth again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a nice uh, right hand. Came over the top and landed, throwing some nice body work inside. Now, right there, Nick Rossborough cinching up Johnny Ritchie and working from clinch. Yeah, working from clinch. Uh, but don't give the Ituyaki too much separation, though. You saw him throw two or three uppercuts, and two of the three landed. And look, it looks like, yeah, it looks like Nick Rossborough might have been hurt just a little bit. He's kind of curling up into a ball here. And boy, Right there's the end of the second round. I think Nick Rossbro might have been a little bit of trouble. Ituyaki coming on really strong at the end of the round. How'd you score that one, Johnny? Uh, you know, Mike, I, gosh, Ituyaki did some pretty amazing things. And either Nick Rossbro did get the